Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and today we are back with Kate Thompson. She's Family and Consumer Sciences Agent in Campbell County. And we are continuing our conversation on stress management, something we all know very well. And yesterday you were talking to us about ways to manage our stress, finding ways for self-care and hobbies. Kate, why is it so important to find um, a hobby or self-care uh, that we enjoy? Right. So, you know, if we find what works for us, that is actually going to help us. But if I choose a hobby that is going to be stressful to me, that's obviously not going to help me. You really <laughs> need to think about what works for you. And you might have to explore that in different ways. Mm -hmm. Um you know, to find what really does reduce your stress. And for some people, learning a new hobby might actually be a great stress reliever for them. But for others, maybe me and you, that actually might stress us out. So, <laughs> right. right, exactly. So we've given you a lot of ideas in the previous episode of things that you can try to reduce your stress. Um, but then, you know, think about what, what, is most effective and beneficial to you in those different ways. Now, Kate, we know that um, stress can lead to severe depression and anxiety. When should someone seek professional help? So if you have been having, you know, some extreme levels of, you know, not feeling like yourself for the past two weeks or more, that's when you need to reach out to someone. So if you've been having a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, um, feeling depressed in the past two weeks or more, then you need to reach out and, and you know, seek help, professional help. Um, an easy way to think about it is if you are experiencing something that's affecting how you live, love, and laugh, that's a time to go get help. That's like a simple, you know, way to think about it. But kind of the clinical way is to say, if you're having appetite changes, you know, maybe you're eating more, maybe you're eating less, um, you're lost interest in things that you usually find enjoyable, that that's a big sign. If you're having difficulty sleeping, um, you know, you just can't sleep. You're having trouble getting out of bed in the morning. You know, you just don't really feel like getting out of bed. You know, you're having trouble performing your usual daily functions and responsibilities. So if you take your kids to school, maybe you're feeling like, oh, I can't even drive my kids to school or, you know, going to work. Maybe those usual functions that you do at work, like writing an email can be overwhelming to people when they're in, you know, having a state of anxiety and, and depression that's just not going away. So again, an easy way to think about it is if how it affects how you live, how you love and how you laugh. That's kind of like a simple lay cake definition um, that's lasted for two or more weeks. Uh, but then all those other examples are, are good, you know, eye openers um, to go get help. And also if people that love you notice that you're not yourself, um, I think that's a big one too, uh, because because people that you love might say, "Hey, you just don't seem like yourself." Mm -hmm. So if people are saying that, it's like, "Oh, you know, that's another clue for sure to go seek professional help." And Kate, before we wrap up today, what should someone do in a crisis, either themselves or if they feel a loved one is truly in a crisis? Yeah. So thanks for bringing that up. That's so important. Um, so there is a hotline um, for crisis and suicide. Um, it's 988. So all you do on your telephone is dial 988. It's available 24-7, you know, all days of the year, all hours of the year. Um, it's always available. And also you can chat with somebody um, through that organization. It is 988lifeline.org. So right. another way, if you don't want to call the, the hotline, the suicide and crisis hotline, you can um, chat with someone at 988lifeline.org. All righty. Kate, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.